Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to crochet a flat circle. So I'm going to be using a 100% cotton so that this can be used as a face scrubber. So if you want to go ahead and make your slip knot in whichever way you choose and then we're going to start with a foundation chain of four. So yarn over, pull through, two, three, four. We're then going to make this into a circle by inserting our hook into the first chain that we made and yarning over and pulling through both loops on the hook. So into the centre of this circle that we've just made we're going to do 12 treble crochets. Don't forget that's a UK term so in the US that would be a double crochet uh, but I am working in UK terms. So going to chain three, one, two, three, and that's going to act as our first treble. We're then going to do 11 more treble crochets into the middle of this circle. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're then going to join this round by inserting our hook into the top stitch of that first chain three. So three V's up, one, two, three. Insert our hook into that top stitch, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. At this point, we're just gonna pull our tail end in the middle tightly and it closes up the gap in the middle. So for every round after this, we need to increase by the same amount of stitches that we've done in the middle. So in the middle we've done 12 stitches, so we need to increase our next round by 12. So in order to do that we need to do two treble crochets in each stitch. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to do another treble crochet straight back into the bottom of this chain three so the top of this initial chain three from the beginning so yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that we're then going to move on to the next stitch so that it's the top of this treble into the top of the stitch yarn over insert into the top of the stitch pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again into that same stitch. So that's two. So again we're going to do two treble crochets in the very next stitch. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And another one straight back into that same stitch. So that's another two. So again into the next stitch. And another one straight into that same stitch again. So we're going to continue round 
like that doing two treble crochets in each stitch all the way around and you should end up with 24 stitches so if you want to pause the video here and make your way around and I'll meet you back for joining so I've made my way all the way around and I've got 24 stitches so we just join this round in the normal way in the top of this initial chain three so we insert our hook into the top of that initial chain three yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch so for the next round in order to increase by 12 stitches we require 36 stitches so the way that we do that is we chain three one two three we do another treble crochet straight back into that stitch so that's two treble crochets in the next stitch we do one treble crochet yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two into the next stitch we do two treble crochets yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's one and again into that very same stitch so that's two in that stitch in the next stitch we do one treble crochet In the next stitch we do two treble crochet one two in the next stitch we do one one and in the next stitch we do two so that's one and that two we continue around in that exact same way we've just done two so we now do one in the next stitch two in the next stitch one in the next stitch two in the next stitch and we continue that pattern all the way around so if you pause the video here and make your way around and I'll meet you back for joining so I've made my way back around and we've got 36 stitches and we're now ready to join so we just join in exactly the same way Insert our hook into the top of that initial chain three, yarn over, pull through both for a slip stitch. So the next round works in exactly the same way. We need to increase by 12, so we need to have 48 stitches. Um, so we start the same again, so we chain three to start, one, two, three, and we do another treble crochet into the bottom. Of that initial chain three so that's two treble crochets so into the next two stitches we work one treble crochet so that's one and into the next stitch one into the next stitch we increase again so we do two treble crochet one and then again into that same stitch Two, and then in the next two stitches we do one treble crochet so that's one and two we increase again in the next stitch so we do two treble crochet into that stitch And then for the next two stitches we do one treble crochet so one in there and one in there so we continue that pattern two double crochet one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet all the way around if you pause the video here and I will meet you back for joining so I've made my way all the way around and I have 48 stitches so we join again in the same way insert our hook into the top of the initial chain three yarn over pull through both for a slip stitch 
And then to finish off, we chain one, take our scissors and snip our yarn, and then pull through, and then pull tight to secure. Um, you then just need to weave in your ends as normal, and there you have the flat circle or very basic uh, face scrubber. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did please do give me a big thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel. If you click the bell button you will be notified uh, when a new video has been uploaded. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.